Hey guys, Jason from Critical Dice, and I'm here with Jeremy Crawford from Wizards of the Coast, who helped uh, freaking make D&D. Uh, we're here at the, the new uh, event, uh, D&D Live 2019, The Descent, and I uh, just have a few minutes here to talk to Jeremy, and so uh, thanks for taking some time with me, man. Hey, my pleasure. Uh, so tell me, so what is, uh, tell us about the brand new book that's uh, coming out, the new Descent book. The Descent is a descent into hell. Yes and a great heroic campaign to try to prevent Baldur's Gate from getting dragged into hell. Okay. And so you are in this campaign going to see a lot of very scary things, uh, but also have some chances for some great heroism. Excellent. And so with this, is it, is it tied to the Blood War at all? Is that kind of the, what's going on in the background or is it more of a foreground component of the story? The Blood War is definitely there. A lot of the action in the descent, well, it's called descent to uh, what's the word? Avernus. Avernus. Yeah. Uh, the blood war occurs right there. That is the front line. That's the first layer of, yes. of the nine hells, right? Yep. And so there is a high likelihood that adventurers are going to come face to face with the blood war. Excellent. Yeah, and you guys have been talking about the blood war, and it's kind of showed up little things here and there. You know, you see Avernus and, and the Nine Hells a little bit in Critical Role. Uh, the Blood War showed up in uh, the crossover with Walker Crew and Acquisition Incorporated, the C-Team. And so, and then I saw the art for this, and I was like, that's got to be the Blood War, you know? <laughs> so uh, you guys have been teasing about it. I heard either you or, or Chris talking about it on Dragon Talk a little bit to mm -hmm. kind of uh, give some background information. So what would you say that the tone for this new book, The Sense of Avernus, is, is like? How, how is it different than, say, say, Storm King's Thunder or Dragon Heist? So this adventure is going to have certain horror elements okay. because you're going to hell after right. all. And you're also going to the city of Baldur's Gate, which is a city uh, with a dark history. Uh, it's associated with the Dead Three, these three evil gods whose influence is on the city of Baldur's Gate. And there are also, though, chances amidst all that darkness for light. Uh, because we also are going to explore the story of Zariel, the fallen angel, who is the current leader of Avernus. And perhaps somewhere in all of that darkness, there might be a story of redemption. Excellent, yeah, because why cast all that darkness if there's no hope for light to come out of it, right? And, and in D&D, as people know, no matter how tough things get, there's always hope. Exactly. As long as there's light, there's hope, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, excellent. Yeah. So um, I wanted to ask you a little bit more, too, just in more general terms. You know, this past year you took over being the DM to the stars mantle from Chris Perkins and are now running the PAX Games for Acquisitions Incorporated. How has that gone for you? It's been super fun. I love DMing for them. It is a delight to get to tell those sorts of zany D&D &D stories. It's funny. That game is completely different from my home D&D &D game, I think which it's is actually than everyone's home D&D <laughs> game actually. Cuz my home game often it can be like really epic or very serious or currently it's been very scary. Uh, I love the madcap mood of Acquisitions Incorporated. I like the audience participation. Uh, I love finding out each session what the players are going to do. Yeah. I feel almost like a chef each session yeah. where I lay out a buffet and then I'm just going to see, so what are they going to nibble on this time? Yeah, what's their appetite like today? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things I've noticed having watched the Acquisitions Incorporated stuff and listened since the very beginning is uh, Pat Rothfuss gets away with a lot of stuff. <laughs> now yes. I'm noticing that's not happening as much. Do you, do you have a different perspective on VR than perhaps say Perkins does? So uh, when Perkins and I talked about me taking over as DM, we both agreed that I should tone down <laughs> how much VR gets away with, if for no other reason than we thought it would be funny. And it is. That, that this character who used to be able to do everything, not everything works out anymore. Although I have to admit, I still let him get away with a lot. Oh, yeah. Jumping off airships and catching things. And yeah, so it's really, really great. So uh, 
Uh, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're really excited for uh, for Descent to uh, Avernus and all the other cool stuff that's coming out. And uh, people will see that here in the next couple of uh, days, hours, weeks, and months as they kind of roll up. But thanks for uh, taking some time. Yeah, it's been fun. Cool. Thanks, man. Sure thing.